Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Technocrats. In today's video, we will learn about Omnon PLZ CPUNE PID AT command that is for uh, PID control and auto tuning. So let's get started. First, I will select the PLC model. So I will select CPUNE here. Now okay now first of all uh, that is w0.00 as in the enable command now the id it command now input word first input word is d0 that is your uh, input or you can say pv present value now the another is uh, d100 that is your parameters and the pa first parameter is set value so i will just comment it as set value now the third one is your mv D10 manipulated value so and we are you can say output okay now moving towards uh, for the parameter section that is starts from D100 and goes up to further it goes further let me show you instruction help So the first parameter is set value, the another is proportional band, then integral constant, then derivative constant, then sampling period, then forward reverse destination PID constant navigation time. And uh, C6 is your manipulated variable output limit control, input range, and unit output range, then 7 is your manipulated value output lower limit and upper limit, that is C8. Now auto training. Uh, 15 bit C plus 9 15 bit is for auto enable and it is auto calculation gain from 0 to 11. Now, the limit uh, cycle stresses uh, that is used as uh, used for uh, PID auto training that is also mentioned here. And C11 to C40 <laughs> is uh, restricted for use of user, so it's basically for PID loop only. So it might be in this be in this go on okay. now, we have already have d100 so we will move to d101 so I uh, will use instruction mov and you can use 10 as this is my uh, value of proportional band so it's d101 ERP band. Okay. <coughs> now the another is I that is uh, let's say and one um, MOV sorry MOV H1 D102. This is your integral time that is in seconds. Now D derivative time get constant sorry. Uh, that is in that is also in seconds. Uh, let me write I M O V e and one D one zero three. Sorry, uh, D E R E time seconds. No, the other parameter after 103 is d104 is for sampling time or sampling period so I'll use mov and 50 the 50 is actually 0.5 that means uh, anything which is which you mention here will multiply into 10 milliseconds that is five if i write 50 that means 500 milliseconds 
okay so that will move to d104 that is your sampling time uh, into 10 milliseconds you can write here okay. now after this 104 you have d105 that is for reverse operation of PID and another and other uh, uh, you know parameters so we will just use 0 here to d105 and you can name it as PID operation PID OP now after this 106 is for uh, uh, your uh, let me show you 106 here in manual 106 so 106 is for uh, uh, bit number 0 to 3 is for output range 4 to 7 is for integral and directory unit 8 to 11 is your input range so I will use here hash four sorry four eight four to D one zero one zero six after this I have one zero seven that is for a lower limit of MV let me put zero here I M O V dollar zero or you can say N zero D one zero seven uh, and this is lower M V limit. Limit. Now after this you have upper limit for M V that your M V does not go beyond any limit. So I will just put here and thousand D one zero eight that is your upper limit. And after this bit number uh, 15 of D109 is for your auto tuning enable. So I will use M2.00 just for sorry, yes, uh, 80 enable. Okay. 80 enable here is a W0.02 and uh, sorry, I will use set B as an instruction for D109 bit number 15 you can use a hash f or n15 I will use n15 here 15 number between 10 on when you will on W2.0 so this is the whole program of a PID uh, control loop so you can use this uh, uh, program for uh, any operation you require for PID and uh, if you want to download this uh, PID uh, uh, program sample, so you can visit automation solutions dot uh, blogspots, and I will just uh, comment mention it in description below. So if you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.